Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of Ghost Change Series 06, Beethoven and Benke. So, um, yeah, this is another one of those coat closet reviews. They're just this guy's coats to put on. Um, very quick look at the box as per use. Um, just save time by using the word use. Um, so you got a, a shot of the... Uh, wow, what are these things again? Uh... Crackers? No. Uh, you get a shot of the toys, you know, the jackets on the actual toy itself. So you don't even need me here to show you that. Thanks, spoiler alert. And then on the top, uh, there's actually a really cool shot of both of their suits. Mainly they're just their helmets, but uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, and then on the back, it just shows you how the toys work. Some sort of action-y poses with them with like some uh, special effects. That's a technical thing. And it also shows you, look, you can put it on Spectre and it looks the exact same except his underclothes are blue. And then it advertises the other line. And, yeah, pretty much about the it. Um, as I usually mention with these reviews, which will get very repetitive, or for whatever reason there happens to be somebody watching some of these back-to-back, -back, um, or even sort of back-to-back, -back, the thing I really like about these sets um, is the stands. Uh, you get these clear stands, which um, I mention in every review. They just kind of have some designs on them. You put the jackets on them. Um, and I think that's the coolest thing about them. To, I'm going to be honest, that's the reason I'm collecting these. I, I'm not a fan aesthetically of how the line looks overall on the figures, but I really dig being able to display all of his uh, forms like this, with the exception of his default forms, which don't give you a way of displaying them. But um, I always say it's kind of a weird double-edged sword because I think it's the coolest thing, but it's also kind of lame that that's the coolest thing. But yeah, that's pretty much why I'm getting them, and I think it's neat to be able to display it this way. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at them on. We'll do Beethoven first, because I said so, and I believe that was the first one to appear out of these two anyway. So just flip this up, and then we will put this around him. And snap it on. I believe I think these do these go around. I don't know. Like on the picture, it's going around. So let's do that. Okay. And make sure it's going on his head and his shoulders and just kind of line them all up um, for your fun. I don't know why I said that. Line it all up for your fun. That just, that sounded weird. Uh, but yeah, there's Beethoven's. Um, it is a bit bulky. Um, Beethoven, I guess, isn't the bulkiest on the show. But yeah, that's my main problem with these figures is they look really bulky. Um... And the, the, it doesn't really bother me so much around here. It's it's usually around the the hood that it bothers me. But I do think the faces look good. And he doesn't have a special weapon that um, he comes with. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for that. All right. And then go on there. Go in your home. Okay. And then we have Benke here. And that will just fall over. Pull that up. And put this over here. Snap on. Snap on the snapper. Put those up. And there you have Benke, which I think out of the two is the coolest looking of them. Um, he does come with a special weapon here, which is the Gongon -Gon Saber with the spider lantern on it so that he has his hammer weapon. And then you can hammer really low stakes nails. No, you can't. But, you know, you can put it in his hand and look. Spoiler alert. There you go. I say spoiler alert a lot in my reviews for whatever reason. But, yeah, like I said, out of the two, I think he looks the best. Benke is a bit of a bulkier one. None of their, even the bulkiest forms, none of their hoods um, are quite this bulky, but I think that he is one of the better looking ones in terms of the way it um, sort of, you know, represents him. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. These reviews are basically just all the same, and I apologize for how boring they can be, but honestly, um, it's really up to you. It's like within the ghost line, there's two different things I review, which is this and the icons that are basically everything is on the same exact quality level, and it just comes down to personal preference. So if you really like being able to display the um, ghost forms like this, the Damashis on their own, then yeah, go ahead and go for it. They're pretty cheap. It's cool for that purpose. But if you're looking for a specific representation in terms of putting uh, the jacket on him, I would wait it out for the figure art. Um, I think it's it's semi-worth it if you want this type of display, um, but if you're looking for a really good symmetrical representation of the form, then I'm going to say wait it out for the figure arts like usual. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersmemos.com and of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.